We're going to Albafuera in the Algarve. That pronunciation was, it's like, it's like I've got Portuguese person right here in the car. What can I say? <laughs> so we've only just been on holiday, so it feels kind of weird, but treat yourself. Well, who are we waiting for? We went for Josh. So we're going with Josh and Callum Phil, which are all Danny's friends from uni. And it's my first time on like a friend's like lads 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 holiday so I mean, it's not going to be a lads 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 holiday really well i'm excited anyway <laughs> i'm excited to be one of the boys with a I'm, zed i'm excited to not be in this weather yeah i know it's raining at the minute there's a man cutting his lawn um and we're gonna go away to 29 30 degrees celsius sun and beaches yeah. get my life It was all right to be fair. I've never the, flown with Ryan before. No, so it was an experience. A disclaimer for this whole holiday: everything A was booked by Cal, so hats off to him. Uh, basically, we did everything pretty much on as low a budget as possible. So we booked our flights and hotel and everything separately. So we flew with Ryanair. Um, it was fine, wasn't it? It was fine. Um, and the hotel we're staying at is called the what? Luna Miramar something in Albufeira in Portugal. Um, and this was all booked just by a third party hotel booking site as well. Um, so the hotel, how much did it cost us? I think it was, uh, the hotel was £114 and the flights were like um, 80 quid? Yeah, like 80 like quid, wasn't it? I don't think it was um, even that. So, basically what's that, like a 200 and... Like two, under £200 holiday. Delish. So, we have a, like, two actual bed apartment here. Um. So this is ours, we have our nice little dressing table here. Hello. Um, and then next door, next door we have uh, like a living room with a kitchenette um, and a sofa bed and that's where Josh is gonna stay. Um, and then we have Cal and Phil in the other bedroom and we have two bathrooms as well, which is really nice. So we have a bathroom for me, Danny and Josh and then a bathroom for Cal and Phil. So five of us in a two bed apartment. Not even cosy, it's quite spacious to be H. For the price. For the price as well. Super good. And we've got a balcony with a pool view. Um I would say that for what we paid when we went to Lanzarote last year. Mm -hmm. which, which was around three sixty each. Yeah, yeah. For a half board holiday. We're half board here as well. For a week. I would say that this is obviously it's a different vibe, mm. but I would say that this is like on par. Yeah. Definitely so far, like initial sort of like going around the lobby and mm -hmm. like coming. Very modern, it's clearly been 
renovated or just built moderately recently. Both things recent. that can't connect to the Wi-Fi. But yes, we're just starting to unpack a little bit now, and then I think we might have a wander out. Well, we need some food, so we'll have a wander out, maybe to the old town, which tends to be quite nice here. I'll just. Oh, it's tiles in here. Be a McDonald's. Ooh. Oh no, it's not. It's oh, oh, it's blankets in case it's chilly. But yes. It's definitely not going to be chilly. That is all for now. What? Holiday. <laughs> um, yeah, so I didn't, I didn't take this out last night, but we basically just went to the old town, had some food, because we were too late to have food really in the hotel. Um, and we've just been down for breakfast as well. I didn't take this either, didn't think about doing that, but no one really cares. It's just, again, like the, the area's nice, isn't it? It's got yeah, a nice little, like, it's nice, got like yeah. a bar. Yeah, um, it was really nice. And like the walk into the hotel was really nice. Yeah. But the actual hotel itself in terms of like the breakfast area is really nice. Everything's really clean and renovated. It's got a bar next to it with a stage, so there's gonna be some cheesy at um, night time vibes. I'm excited to see. Um so we're just about to head down. We need to cream up, get lathered in my SPF and sit and snooze in the sun. <laughs> All day. I don't know whether the beach is called the Old Town Beach or not. I, I don't know. know. But Helen, Phil, and Josh are somewhere down there. Somewhere. We're looking to go um, to get some. Oh, we're going to get some food yeah, here. Yeah. So that's a lovely view of the sea and everything. So we'll think we'll go for food there. Check it out. It does it does pizza and Italian Ice cream. vibes. Just falling asleep on the beach. Well, I mean, I did. 
got a lovely burnt forehead, which I don't think you can see in this light, which is great because I don't want to show it off. But yeah, had a lovely snooze on the beach, and then by the time I got from that, it was time to come back and get sorted. So we had a lovely meal at. Uh, we did. I can't remember what it was called, but it'll be on here somewhere. Yeah. Um, but that was we'll really, really nice. That was really, really nice. And that was quite late in the day as well, so I'm not even. I don't even know what time it is. What time it's is it? Ah, it's quite good timing, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, so we'll head to the old house tonight. Anyway, for some drinks and things. So we'll still get to see it. I just haven't seen it in the daytime. Well, we kind of saw it when from we, the sky. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, well, from the view when we went to go get food at lunchtime from the cliff where you could see all the beach and the houses and everything, it looks really picturesque, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to go us out some food. Food. now we've already packed up the room and things like that this morning um, and we've just been sat by the pool for a little bit after breakfast haven't we yeah this is the last day we're gonna have a nice little lunch date again like we did yesterday we're gonna get run over by this car and we thought like whilst whilst in Portugal we might as well try and find some pretty pretty chicken shout out to Nando's <laughs> so that's what we're in the hunt for for the minute um, and there's also a really nice looking like dessert place slash gelato yeah gelato ice cream parlor place around the corner from the hotel as well so on the way back I have a little stop there for some pudding as well it's still boiling hot we've had lovely weather whilst we were here because we're here in September it's like 29 degrees today yeah it's really really hot at the moment it's 26 but it feels a lot more than that it's really the only, um, when it started to feel a little bit cooler was on the evenings. I don't think you would have that if you were like smack bam in the middle of the summer. Um, it was just more the breeze than anything because we are, it's quite a hilly town when you come over that cliff where the beach is. And obviously it's right on the coast. Yeah, so you do get that coastal breeze. But during the day that's really lovely. And it's not intense, not anywhere near some more volcanic islandy places like what we went to last yeah. year. That was very windy. It's like such a different vibe of holiday to what it was when we went to Florida. Oh my god, yeah, I know. Tell me about it. Like, <laughs> obviously, we just walked around okay. so much when we were in Florida. But actually, on this holiday, we've just been sat around really, which is nice. It's and bearing in mind how much we paid for everything. Oh my god, so yeah, I know. Full holiday for under. This is. The most budget holiday I've ever been on. For under 200 quid, easy. It's insane. And we've been here, what is it, three nights, four days technically, really. Because we fly at like half eight tonight. We did arrive late on the first day, but but for that short of time, like. But and to have. Uh, and half to have, board in a four star hotel. Well, not just that, but also to have like. A full day here today. Yeah. I mean, our flight is until 25 to 9. We're in the same time zone, so like our flight is until we get back at half 11, I think, tonight. So I think it's. Uh, there we go, right. going this way. <laughs> um, I think for like what we've paid and stuff, we're like fully well impressed and we'll definitely come back. Yeah, definitely. At some point. Like resort. Yeah, it's just a classic uh, resort hotel. Yeah. And like, even though the food wasn't amazing. Well, it's just not a lot of selection, but it's just quite a small hotel, isn't it, really? Right, so we're not going to right here. We're getting lost. So we made it. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> um, we had to stop because we just got lost and we didn't know where we were going. But we found it. We found this random place. Um, 
so I might have just said like it's tucked away and it like doesn't look like very much from the outside but you should just try it because it's really good looking and it's like spot on to okay, just to find and it looks really just like standard and like the stock plastic but still the chairs can you see but we sat down and within well, not even three minutes all oh, this food came. Look at the chicken. That is a hot sauce. Oh, hot sauce there. It's spicy. That is a hot sauce. <laughs> um, got a little beer and things like that. Just super quick and how is how is the curry curry? The sauce is super good. Yeah. So and the chicken is amazing. It is. We came in and they were like. We haven't really got anything apart from like chicken and, and rice and chips and stuff. Like it's just chicken, we haven't really got any other meats because it isn't pretty much close. So it's the actual vibe. Yeah, it's like still pretty much middle of the day really. It's too hot for the kitchen to be open thoroughly. And it's, really, it's really quiet as well, so fair play. But it's what we came for, so.